Welcome back. So far, we've started cleaning and now working with data in R. Now, let's talk about how to transform data. Sometimes, you need to be able to break up a variable across multiple columns, or combine existing columns, or even add new values to your data frame. Coming up, we'll use the separate, unite, and mutate functions to transform our data in R. Luckily, the packages already downloaded into our library have some tools we can use to do just that. Let's open RStudio Cloud and check them out. To start, we'll create a data frame from scratch. For this example, we'll create a standard data frame so that we can test out other functions. But you could also make a triple here since we're manually inputting the data. You'll learn more about triples in a reading. For our data set, we are going to copy and paste some data to create our own data frame. If you want to use the same data to follow along, check out the earlier reading. Our data contains employee information, including names and job titles. You can just copy it in. We can then name the data frame employee, indicate the column names as ID, name, and job title, and print the whole data frame. Right now, the first and last names are combined into one column. We can use the separate function to split these into separate columns. We'll start with separate, and then the data frame we want to work with, and the column we'd like to separate. Then we'll add what we'd like to split the name column into. We'll just name these new columns first name and last name. And finally, we'll tell R to separate the name column at the first blank space. When we run this, it'll build us new columns for the first and last names. The separate function has a partner Unite. The Unite function allows us to merge columns together. Basically, it does the opposite of separate. Let's say we're working with the version of this data frame with two name columns, and we want to combine them. We'll copy in this data as well. Our Unite statements, a lot like our separate. We'll start with Unite, and indicate the data frame we're referring to. Then we'll name the column we're combining first name and last name in, and then we'll say which columns we're combining. No quotation marks needed here. And finally, we can include a space that separates them. And when we run that, those two columns are combined. In addition to separating and merging columns, we can also create new variables in our data frame using the mutate function. We worked with mutate a little bit before to clean and organize our data, but mutate can also be used to add columns with calculations. Let's go back to our Penguin dataset. Right now, the body mass columns measured in grams. Maybe we want to add a column with kilograms. To do that, we'll use mutate to perform the conversion and add a new column. And it'll return a tibble with our new column. You can make calculations on multiple new variables by adding a comma. Let's add a column converting the flipper length too. Now we've learned how to transform existing data in our tables and how to create new variables. Separate, unite, and mutate are some basic functions that we'll keep building on. And you might discover new ways to use them while you're practicing too. Coming up, we'll talk more about summarizing data frames and how to address bias. I'll see you soon.